When I'm shooting on the beach, particularly around the coast of where we've got vast beaches, it's important for me to show that space within the shot. So negative space, which is empty space, empty sky, is an important part of, uh, of my imagery. I just stumbled across the Canon Uconnect gallery one day and I just uploaded uh, some recent shots of uh, the sand buggies. I'm Steve Deer. I'm a senior creative for an advertising agency and I shoot seascapes and action photography for fun. The mud yard is such a magical place. It stinks, it's smelly, but I know there's a fantastic shot there waiting to be had. I've got some good images there. I haven't got it yet, got the great one yet. Because of the position I was in, you know, we were up to our, the middle of our wellies in mud. I wanted to sort of shoot quite quickly, so I set the camera to bracket. So I set the exposure that I thought was right, and then the bracket, the other three shots, it gave me a, a shot one stop overexposed and one stop underexposed. I'll always check the wind speed first. I'm not too bothered about the weather. You know, I'll shoot when it's raining. The main lens that I'll take with me is the 70 to 200, but I'll always pack my 24 to 70 as well. I think the most important Canon product that I take with me is the uh, angle finder. You know, if I'm shooting low, I don't want my chin to be in the sand. I put the angle finder on, I'm looking down into the camera. It could be inches from the water. I'm shooting in, in AI servo mode, so I'm getting nice bursts of the subject. More often than not, I've got the center focus button selected, but that doesn't mean I need to focus on the windsurfer. I could focus on the uh, mast of the windsurf or the point of the windsurf. I'm trying to freeze the action, I'm trying to keep the exposure 800th of a second, a thousandth of a second. That will lock the spray and it will lock the subject as well. And I like to overexpose because shadow detail is the most important part of my action images. I'm shooting guys with wetsuits on, I don't want those to turn into a black blob, I want them to see three dimension. If the sun is quite static, then check the exposure that you're happy with, then slide it into manual and key in those exposure details. Then you don't have to worry about exposure, just concentrate on getting a great shot. It's amazing if you, if you put your head on the ground and have a look, you'll find that it cleans up your environment so much that you just concentrate on, on your subject. If you're looking for that perfect shot, you can't worry about you know, getting mud on your jeans or you know, rolling in pigeon poo. You can't be too worried about getting your camera grimy, or getting it sandy, getting it wet. The cannons are constructed very well. Yeah, they can be wiped clean. I'm prepared for anything when I get down to the beach. I, I just don't know what's going to be thrown at me. It could be you know, a great windsurf shot, it could be somebody digging bait on the beach, it could be somebody standing on the end of the pier with a kid. I just don't know what's going to happen. I'm trying to be different all the time. I'm not capturing everything in the central frame. I'm getting the, the kids, the subject, but I'm interested in the reflection as well, you know, the secondary elements, you know. When I'm retouching, I'm always thinking about the end result, which is a print. I want something tactile, I want, to, I want to feel something, I want a, a piece of art at the end of the day. But I do treat the action stuff exactly the same way as I treat my seascapes. So a hell of a lot of effort and post-processing goes into the imagery, bringing everything out, you know, bringing the shadow detail, making sure that it's bright enough, you know, it, making sure that the colours that I've seen on the day are, are in the shot. The most important thing is to learn to see and that really means forget about rules in photography. Everybody talks about rule of two-thirds. 
If you're, if you're going to follow rules, then you're going to get shot just like everybody else. Regarding where I'm going with my photography, I really don't take it that seriously. Uh, I wouldn't enjoy it if I did, you know. I just enjoy what I do, end of.